Hello students, welcome to Physics Virtual Lab. Today, from today onwards, we are going to discuss the experiments virtually. So we have the first experiments that is resistance per unit length of a given wire by plotting a graph of current versus potential difference. So here you will write aim of the experiment first. So aim is determination of resistance per unit length of a given wire by plotting a graph of current versus potential difference. Next is principle, Ohm's law. Principle of this experiment is Ohm's law. No need to write the statement. Apparatus. Here we are going to use a wire of unknown resistance whose resistance you are going to determine by performing the experiment. Second, battery. Next, hold meter, ammeter, plug key, rheostat. These are the apparatus we are going to use to perform these experiments. Now here formulae. Formulae or formula. Formulae. First formula is resistance of the wire. So you have the formula R is equals to 1 divided by M. 1 divided by M. So where M is equals to slope of the graph. We will draw the graph, we will calculate the slope and that slope will be the M. Next, second formula we have that is slope of the graph. So here M is equals to Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So here X1 comma Y1 these are the coordinates of one point and X2 Y2 these are the coordinates of other point. You take two points on the graph. How do you take that I will illustrate. Next third one. Resistance per unit length of the wire. Resistance per unit length of the wire is given by R per means division length. R by L where L is length of the wire. Next. Here circuit diagram. Circuit diagram is very important in this. So first one, this is the battery. It has two terminals. This is positive terminal and this is negative terminal. So this battery, you will connect to the plug key. Hmm. This is the key. Next key is connected to the rheostat. So this is the symbol of the rheostat. Okay. So next, I connect this here the rheostat is connected to the resistance of whose uh, resistance of the wire whose resistance you are going to find. Next from here you will take wire and that wire is going to be connected to the hold meter. Next here you will connect this to the milliameter here. Here you will get the milliameter. Okay, and that is what the nature of the graph. So, here you will connect milliameter. Length of the wire. You will write the length of the wire in centimeter. Next, tabulation. So, here prior number. Here you will get current in a ampere. And here you will get voltage in a volt. Okay, so you will this experiment has a graph, therefore you will take at least 6 readings. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now you will perform the experiment and you will feel the readings here. Okay. So next, I will now, I have connected the circuit, I perform the experiment and I will show you the calculation and the graph. Hmm. Now already we have seen the apparatus. It contains the resistance of the wire. So this contains the wire. Inside of this you will get one wire whose resistance you are going to determine. This is the battery. This is called as battery. This is negative terminal and this is positive terminal. Here you have the ammeter. 
m a means milli ammeter the value of this m is 10 raised to minus 3 here you have two terminals this is negative terminal this is positive terminal here you will get needle to show the reading you will get the reading from here here you have the markings on the scale so 0 50 100 150 likewise so here you have 50 divisions so one division corresponds to 10 milli ampere so because 50 here in between 0 and 50 10 divisions are there so 50 divided by 10 you will get 5 okay so therefore one division corresponds to 5 milli ampere next likewise you have the pulse meter similarly you get one needle here you have the scale here here you have the uh, terminals this is positive this is negative yes ha huh. so here you have the volt meter here also you have the two terminals this is negative terminal this is positive terminal here also you have the scale 0 1 2 likewise so here i calculate the uh, corresponding value of one division so here 0 to 1 divided by smallest number of divisions 10 are there so 1 divided by 10 you will get 0.1 so 0.1 hold is the value of each reading now you have the plug key here so this is one terminal this is one terminal here you will insert the key when you insert the key current flows so now this is very important device so that is rheostat so here you have the three terminals one this is one terminal this is one terminal and this is one terminal so it has totally three terminals so out of these three terminals two are lower and one is upper this is called upper terminal and these two are called lower terminals and this is the slider you have to vary the current okay so now i go according to the circuit so already we have already we have the circuit diagram so one second so first is battery so here you have battery so this negative terminal now you have the negative terminal this negative terminal where it is connected it is connected to the plug key so i connect now here this is the negative terminal of the battery now this negative terminal where do i connect i connect to the plug key so this is the plug key as you know i connect this terminal here so after this after this again i go back to the other terminal okay so you have the other terminal here so that other terminal is connected to the lower end of the rheostat so this arrow arrow indicates upper terminal here you have this arrow that arrow means upper terminal so here lower terminal so now i connect one wire from here to the lower terminal so you have two lower terminals so you will connect to which lower terminals you will be in dilemma so better that lower terminal which is not near to the upper so this is the lower terminal not near to the upper so i connect here so now after this now from the rheostat you have now look at here if you look at the circuit i complete the circuit first ha so now from the rheostat how many wires i connect now i take the two wires one wire goes to resistance and one wire goes to voltmeter negative of the voltmeter so from here i take the two wires these are the two wires i take and i connect to the upper terminal so now here i have the two wires now one wire will go to the resistance so this is the resistance next the remaining wire this is the remaining wire this wire you will connect to the voltmeter 
so you know that this is the voltmeter but where do you connect to the negative terminal so this is the negative terminal so here you will connect so now again again i am here now i have connected now i come here from here i take the two wires one wire goes to resistance and one wire goes to milliampere okay so here i take the two wires among this i have two wires among this one wire goes to resistance so this is resistance and one remaining wire goes to negative terminal of the milliampere so this is negative terminal next i am here now now after this i go here and i connect this wire to the positive terminal of the battery so here i have the positive terminal and this positive terminal i connect to the positive of the milli ammeter now look at here you will connect this circuit with the voltmeter inserting the key once you will show to the instructor and after that you will put the plug here you will on this you have the button of the battery here this is the button okay now what you do you put the key when i put the key i go on getting the readings now now check here how do i take to keep this here now i put the key and i adjust the slider of the rheostat so as to adjust the reading so now i am getting here two divisions i am getting you know the value of one division that is 50 divided by 10 so you get 5 so 5 is the value of one division but how many divisions i am getting two divisions here so 2 into 5 means what is the value 10 and here one division i am getting so here one divided by 10 so 0.1 so what is the reading here here you are getting 10 and here 0.1 so now you remove the key so that you can write the values here now so now i have i had this tabular column i had this tabular column in this tabular column current what is the value of current here 10 milliampere already i have written ma here so if you write a here you will write 10 raised to minus 3 but already i have written ma so no need to write into 10 raised to minus 3 next here you got 0.05 ha huh. now again i adjust this again i adjust the slider and i go on changing the value so that is here i am getting four divisions here i am getting four divisions and here here i am getting two divisions so likewise you go on changing the value likewise you go on changing the value by changing the slider and corresponding value you will note down in the table so i got the values like this so already i have performed the experiment and i got the values okay so 30 for for 30 milliampere i got 0.15 for 40 milliampere i got 0.2 50.02 0.25 and 60 i got 0.3 now next i have already performed the experiments and after perform of the experiments so your first work is you will remove the key and you will off the plug okay and then you will do the calculation now so now i go for the calculation so this is x axis this is y axis here you will take v on x axis you will take voltage that is v in a volt and here you will take i in a ampere so scale you will write x axis 1 cm is equals to 0.05 volt and y axis 1 cm is equals to 10 milli ampere so this is very important so now i mark the values here you will get the like this you will get the marking here first value is 0.05 second will be 1 
one five two two five three three. Here it should be three, huh? By mistake I have written three five. It should be three. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. So you have the tabular column. You have the readings. So for first reading, for ten you got zero point zero five. So you will get here the point will be here. Next after this for twenty you got point one. For thirty you got point one five. For forty you got point one two. So now what I do? I join these points. So I am getting the straight line. So now I have to draw the triangle here. Any two point you consider, which are in the line. So this is one point and this is one point. So two points are not taken. This one and this one. So I give the name. This is A. This is B. This is C. Okay. So now I calculate the slope of AC. Slope of AC. So calculation. We have slope of the graph. M is equals to. We have the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So m is equals to 60 into 10 raised to minus 3 minus 30 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 0.3 minus 0.15. So if you simplify this, you get 30 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 0.15. And if you simplify this, you get 0.2. This is the slope. Now I go for resistance of the wire. So resistance of the wire R is equals to one upon m. So you have the value of m here. That is what point two. So what we get one divided by point two. So one divided by point two is five ohm. This is not zero. This is ohm. That is the SI unit of resistance. Next third one. Resistance per unit length I want. So R divided by L. So you have the L value that is thirty centimeter. So, but here phi is in what SI system. Therefore, thirty also you will convert in what meter. So, thirty centimeter is equals to point three meter. So, if you simplify this, you get this answer. This is your final result. Next, what you will write? You will write the result. So, first one, the resistance of the wire is R is equals to phi ohm, and second, that is resistance per unit length of the wire. That is what. 16.33 ohm per meter because resistance per length. Okay, so therefore 16.33 ohm per meter is the resistance of what the unknown wire. Okay, so uh, this is your first experiments. Uh, when you come into lab, you will perform this experiment and you will get to know. Okay, today so already we have seen the first experiments. Uh, In the next uh, week on Thursday, we will see the second experiment. Okay. Thank